Hi, Coach Bert here, Ultimate Soccer Coaching. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about setting up your wall. And this is something that's very important to start teaching young players, and but we want to keep it simple. Uh, as they get more advanced, you can do a little bit more complicated things with the wall. Uh, your keepers are going to be a little bit more experienced, they'll be able to get a little better wall placement, things like that. But just some very basic guidelines, simple things to start with. Um, typically, in a four-man wall, we're going to get our midfielders involved in the wall. We want our defenders to be free. We want the defenders to be marking, uh, marking men up. Um, they're playing defense because they're our best defenders. And we don't want to put them in a position where they're pretty much just like cones. We want them to be active. We want them to be actively defending. And that's one of the main reasons we use our midfielders in the wall. Also, typically, they're going to be close to the play. And by forcing the midfielders to come back and get into the wall, we make sure that we have plenty of players uh, on defense back and behind. So typically, in a four-man wall, we like to take our outside midfielder, our two center mids, and our outside mid. So this is our, this is our wall right there. That's what we're looking to do uh, as far as our players. And... Um, you know, typically we like to have our taller players in the middle, uh, so you can kind of rearrange that a little bit if you need to. Basic rule when we're setting up our four-man wall, if we have an offensive player, so if we have a forward from the op opposing team come in and line up on the end of our wall, we're going to add another player to the wall outside of him. And we like our forwards to come back and do this. Because what you don't want to have happen, you don't want to leave an easy lane for, let's say the free kick is from here, and you don't want to leave an easy lane for a very simple pass where he can run on and beat you to go to goal. So we're going to sandwich him up a little bit. So we like to take a forward here and we like to stick him on the end of the wall to basically take that guy out of the play. Okay. So that's the makeup of our four-man wall. But let's talk a little bit about where we want our players positioned. So we're going to have our goalkeeper obviously in the net and we'll say that the ball is the ball is right here. What we want to do is we're going to line up, we're going to have our, usually our forward, we'll have a forward come up here to help the goalkeeper out. So maybe have our forward in position here. And we're going to draw a line from the ball to the end to the near post. So here's our, here's our line from the ball to the near post. And we want to have one player on the wall lined up to the outside of that line. So let's say he's 10 yards back, we have a, a player here, a player here, a player here, and we want a player here. We want a full player on the outside of that wall so that it makes it very difficult for them to bend the ball around and go near post. So the goalkeeper at this point is going to line himself up kind of on the back on the back part of the wall. There's no reason for him to be standing behind the wall. Uh, in fact, if you're ever taking a free kick and you see the goalkeeper standing behind the wall, don't wait for the whistle. Uh, hopefully you have the opportunity to take your, quick, uh, your kick quickly. And just go back post, stick it in the net. Uh, now, if the, the referee has told you to wait for the whistle, obviously you're going to have to hang out a little bit. Hopefully the goalkeeper still asleep and uh, doesn't move to cover that area. But in proper setup, the wall is going to take care of the front half of the goal. Goalkeeper is going to take care of the back half of the wall. And if a player is able to bend the ball over the wall and get it on frame, hopefully at that point um, you know, the goalkeeper has time to get over there and get it. So that's your basic, basic rules there for the wall. What we have our forward do after he helps set the wall up is we get him down in here in kind of a chase position so he can pick up anybody that's making a run uh, you know, to get a, get a shot that's coming over on the outside of the wall. So that's it. That's the basics uh, for setting up your wall. I would encourage you to go to our website, ultimatesoccercoaching.com slash drills, and there will be a place where you can put in your name and your email address. And we'd like to get you uh, subscribed to our free email newsletter. We're going to send out every, every week new drills, new activities, new coaching tips, uh, new videos, great information, uh, absolutely free of charge. So first name and email address on uh, ultimatesoccercoaching.com slash drills. And look forward to seeing you in the newsletter. Thanks.